airport. Um, we're really hoping we're not delayed. It snowed last night and we got a little bit worried, but it stopped now and the roads are really clear. So hopefully we'll go on time. I thought I'd vlog this experience of us traveling with the three kids and being on the flight for nine hours, entertaining the three of them. Like it's a day flight as well, so they will need to be entertained the whole time. So we've got a few things planned. And yeah, I just thought it'd be funny to look back on in years to come when life's easy again. Hello, what are we doing awake at this time? <laughs> so Jackson's just had a big explosive poo, have a you? So we're gonna go and change you now. This is a good start. booked the number one lounge at Gatwick because we thought it would be nice to have somewhere a bit quieter to go. It's really dark outside because it's because of sleep. Yeah we thought it would be nice to come somewhere that's a bit quieter and also contain Caleb like in a space. So far so good there you have like all inclusive like breakfast and coffee and all of that. Um, but there's not loads for the kids, like there's no soft play or anything like that. But there is a soft play in the main bit, so we'll see how they do. They're just happy playing Lego at the moment. That wasn't a very long sleep, was it? You cheeky. That wasn't long. What's that? Beeper. <laughs> Beeper. I've dressed the boys in bright pink t-shirts so we can't lose them. Let's wear these at night. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we put you to bed in them, didn't we? Good thing we brought the buggy. Has our personal trolley. We got one, two, three. three. <laughs> Four. So Four. happy. Hey, you We're about to board and we've decided to wait it out until the very last people to board because there is no point being stuck in our little seats for nine hours. We might as well wait because there's like this thing here. And yeah, it's dead. Everyone's getting on. We have guaranteed seats. There's no point, is there? Is daddy? <laughs>
crazy. How's the flight going? Good. Really yeah. good. How much longer have we got? Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours left? Yeah. Oh, Fraser's being such a good brother. He's letting Caleb put his legs on him while he sleeps. I've got two sleeping children on me. I'm so uncomfortable, but I'm just happy that they're resting. He left life. Ebbs crying a little bit. Broke out the Kinder eggs, didn't we? So you look out the window. What are you looking for, Fraze? boys have done so well I had no idea how they have so much energy they have put on their swimming suits where are they they're there and they want to go swimming already even though it's like nine o'clock at night at home is it ten o'clock at night at home and they're all like raring to go but that should actually help us with getting in the right time zone <laughs> this Fraser but yeah I'm so so proud of them we had barely any tears the baggage collection to bus was quite hard because we had to carry everything. I wish there had been someone there to video us because it just must have looked hilarious. I had Jackson on my front, Matt had a bag on his front and his back, two suitcases and then I had a suitcase and um, Caleb was in the pram and Fraser was walking and it was just like, oh my gosh, there were so many of us. Um, it actually makes me realise we've had so many kids now. But um, yeah, we're here and we're safe and we're happy and it's a beautiful, beautiful room. I will definitely film a room tour tomorrow. So look out for that on my channel. But yes, we made it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye bye. See you bye -bye. More holiday poo poo. See you tomorrow. Quick See and you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh.